Hello and welcome to another studio visit. I'm Julie, a fan Balzer, and I'm so glad that you're here. So one of the things that I do a lot is I work in my art journal. It's a little bit different from a sketchbook for me. Now, I think some of these terms, art journal, sketchbook, like it's kind of arbitrary and how you decide it is. But for me, my art journal is a place where I make art without any notes, whereas my sketchbook is a place that I like think out loud, do a lot of writing. It's actually kind of like a notebook that happens to have some artwork in it. Um, but in my art journal, well, it's easier to explain if we just get into it. So let's take a peek. So lately I've been doing a lot of redacted work. That's what this is. It's like you have a painting and then you paint something contrasting on top of it. And it can be something realistic like these kind of leaf flowers or something totally abstract. And I also work in a junk journal. And this is a binding that I do myself and I just put it together made up of a lot of the literal junk from my art studio, whether it's like under papers or um, scrapbook paper that's left over, sort of like negative cuts from things, tags that didn't work out. I mean, it's, it's junk, right? But what it does is it gives me something to react to so I'm not looking at a blank page. And so what I've been doing is sort of filling in the pages a little bit more. That's what this is, is I'm trying to give myself that under painting. And these are somewhat monochromatic pieces, so they kind of maybe could be a painting because it's made up of lots of different media. Um, you know, pencil, marker, pen, those are fingerprints all along there, but I'm just trying to get rid of kind of the white space. For some reason, this has a lot of white space in it. You can see there's some interesting under papers, but it's a lot of white. So I want to get rid of the white. Um, I do like to tuck some deli paper just underneath the edges of my art journal so I don't get the next page kind of covered. But then I'm starting the process of looking for stuff to cover up. So I'm going to start with some collage paper and I'm, tr I'm choosing it based on the colors that already exist there to kind of coordinate. It doesn't need to be exact. Um, and I'm going to use gel medium to go ahead and put this into my journal. There are a lot of different ways to collage. I don't think there's a right or a wrong. It's really kind of what works for you. But the idea here is let's banish the white without covering up the stuff that was already underneath it. And I want to use a lot of different stuff. So here you can see I've gotten some collage in. I'm now adding some paint. I want to keep the paint transparent so I don't cover up those black marks. So I've added some gel medium to just um, create more of a glaze so the color goes over but you still get to see those black marks again I'm looking for something to react to it's not about it being pretty or anything like that now this is a dryer because I want my page to be dry when I switch to a different media and I'm using color pencil here I didn't really dry it enough so I run into a couple of problems you might be able to see where I kind of pick up an edge of the paper and have trouble drawing on some of the paper that's a little too wet so you'll be better than me and you'll dry things all the way I'm using my left hand there again I'm just trying to create something to react to so after I've chopped away a little excess collage paper that's hanging over the edge this is it it's not finished it's not a finished work of art this is a beginning but what I like to do is not have to do an art journal page all in one go so this is ready for me for when I'm ready to sit down and react to it it's interesting it's problematic and I'll be able to fiddle around with it thanks so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it I hope that you will like it leave a comment subscribe to my channel I do offer a ton of online classes both live online classes via zoom and self-paced online classes you can also come here to my home studio and take a class with me in person. I offer a monthly membership as well where you can get a lot of art for a very small price. So I hope you will check it all out. You can find everything I offer at juliebalzer.com.